can't control yourself or your emotions or something from a front hug i don't think you should be hugging anybody well, in no position okay like, but that's what the rap is about that the rap is about like if you can't then i mean you need to be doing this if you if you're just side hugging it's not even an issue you're and like them. i don't you're know if you peep but that first guy kind of said he was gonna knock a girl out if she tried to put you in a coma, put you in a coma. He will put you in a in a coma. And the other dude said he's buying babies like Angelina Jolie. Like what? What does that even mean? It means it means Jeebus. All right, uh, guys, welcome to Mo Negroes, America's fastest growing African American based show on a Monday night, uh, surrounded by Lauren Armstrong. We have a, a a new call tonight from the Raptor Bacon Channel. Linked in the description. It is the I guess winning against COVID. I haven't heard it yet. Uh, Slothcat hasn't heard it yet. Jay's Potato Parking Lot Party hasn't heard it yet, and Noel 9 has not been banned yet. So uh, before all those things happen, can you, Sloth Cat, I'm going to set a timer, and can you say hi to everyone in the chat so we can just, including, I guess, Trump 2024 was here from James Marr. Thank you very much, uh, James, for that show of support for us and for Trump in 2024. Uh, it, it, so I'm going to set the timer, and then you go ahead and, and say hi to everyone, um, including Aaron W. Alexa. Start a timer for 90 seconds. And go. Asbury Brad, Dr. Cunt, Pussy Destroyer, J.R. Davis, Eureka's Mom, James Mayer, Duchess, J. Potato Man, Amaro Ray, George Glass, Polynomial Purebred, mm -hmm. Alex Castro, No Nye. Clementine, what Megan, a uh, size of a beetle bug, Page Master, um, uh, Carl Weathering, Octopussy, and uh, it's, it's this Ani, Ani, yeah, Ani. You know, you got Ani in the place, Laura Lisa, uh, Lauren's mom's camel toe, fuck off, fuck off, 
generic Puerto Rican male. Twenty seconds. Little hole, flaps and clits, Mandy ass, Mister Furley, Donde, Huff. This is a long ninety seconds. <laughs> This is a long 90s. I know you're not even close to one. All right. Alexa, Alexa off. I think Alexa skipped some seconds because that was that was bad. Alexa off. That's probably the worst one yet. Yeah, Lauren Anderson, I agree. Give me that Christian side hug. Thank you for the donation, James Marr. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Trump. Thank you, Carl Weathering, for leaving uh, when you were told to. I'm, I'm assuming he's gone. Uh, <laughs> no, no, nine. Jesus never hugged no one like that. Pop, 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 LWO for life. See, I told you that was a LWO approved song. And Punk Pansy's going to be on the replay crew. Now, go ahead and say what's up to Aaron W. so that we can get this shit going. Aaron W. You know, that's a nice person right there, that Aaron W. Um, And then you're saying, you're, that's saying that you stole oh. from Blue Boy. It's time to get all up in ya, like Benya Benya. And we ain't talking gullah gullah. You stole it from Blue Boy like that too. That's shitty. All right, let's uh, let's, hey, let's man, do look. It. We gotta re- we gotta turn the tables. You know, you know take how those let's take it back. You know. Yeah, we're taking it back just like we took back Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> we start with Monday, then it'll be Tuesdays and Wednesdays. We'll get all the days. You you got your face mask on? Yes. Okay. I look hot. And just and don't forget that you have the virus, so you can't be just touching Kissing, everybody and yeah. everything. Do you have gloves on? Yeah. No, I coughed. Oh, you gotta! You can't be doing that. Make sure you cough into your. Wait, wait, wait! wait. Actually, lift lift your shirt up, just, in, uh, just the front of your shirt, and cough right underneath, and underneath the shirt, so that way you don't get it all over everything. All right. Do you wear hey, a face max? I mean, I don't because I don't go around anybody. Yeah, because your breath smells on. Huh? You're used to not talking with showing your mouth open. That's a good thing for the coronavirus. I know. I, I don't. Because your grill's all to people in fucked the store. up. I just go in, do what I got to do, get what I need, and I get out. Your mouth looks like Chernobyl blew up in it, and your breath wow. probably smells. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it does. It smells good. <laughs> it smells like me. It smells like Sadie's puffer. <laughs> Yeah. Some lady went. Shh. Right. I said sorry, but I showed her my middle finger. No, don't do that. You need to behave when you're in a public place like that. You're gonna you piss remember, off. They've got your you're gonna piss off COVID, and that's how you catch it. You notice the people who are getting it were the people who were who were flaunting it, showing off, and now she's gonna. Uh, so that means that Lauren was concerned with Winnie, uh, Jamie, Amy, and he had various girlfriends he was trying to protect from COVID. Yeah, man, they're trying to make it to see if they get COVID. They can never they can't it just, come out. They can't come out that you know. They can't come out, so we got to yeah. You got to be be quarantined, be safe, so you can get out here. So three different three different invisible women. This man was concerned about getting COVID. It's amazing. Husband in there, and then you got my fiance in there. <coughs> there you go. Walk away, hey, baby. Sure I coughed on her. Now she's moving. Winning. <laughs> Winning. God damn it, Winnie. That is not funny. You don't cough on don't me. But that. what's the matter with you? <laughs> she wouldn't leave me alone. She walked up to me well, like she was so going to pull what? my card. You need to stop doing that stuff because you actually have the virus. Hello, stupid idiot here, a.k.a. Lauren <laughs> Pedophile Armstrong. I admit it. My niece asked me to buy those short shorts and it turned me on. She did not slip them into the cart when I was preying on another underage girl in Walmart while offering her a fake job. It is true, I am the world's biggest piece of shit. I use my mother for money because I am unemployable, extremely lazy, and have no useful skills for the current century. The only thing I might be good at is taking pictures of my dysfunctional bent dick in portrait mode and pixelated 480p vertical videos of myself taking shits in my backyard. I have verbally abused all my fake girlfriends online, and if they moved in, I would have made their lives a living hell. My apartment is covered in bed bugs, roaches, dog shit, and cigarette butts. My fridge is where the next pandemic is currently being harvested, and my feet emit a radioactive score of 10. Anything you eat within 13 miles of my home will give you food poisoning. 
My backyard shits have contaminated the water supply for all of Maine and destroyed the fluoride. So expect your children to have worse teeth than I do. Everything I touch, I destroy. I pretend to understand construction stuff, but couldn't put together a Lego set to build a square, even if I was given the directions a week in advance. <coughs> I pretend to be angry at the internet and blame Xavier for all my problems because it makes life more palatable. Sometimes I lie and take full blame for my actions and pay Betty Pack a few cents if it involves the prospect of sex with the endless Rolodex of catfish speaking to me on my flip phone from 2007. I have no job, no future, and no redeeming qualities. I am extremely in debt, abuse women and my dogs. And if you told me you were the president on the telephone, I would believe you. <laughs> I belong back in jail making license plates for cartons of cigarettes miles away from little girls because, yes... I, I want you to send this to Lauren and say, since uh, Chris Hansen wasn't able to interview him, NBC just ran this instead. <laughs> uh, using, it, using an AI model to predict exactly what Lauren would say if he was interviewed. And since and since he committed that crime on a dateline initially, they didn't even need a release to do this. Lauren, that's all. that's how AI works. <laughs> this is... This is what Skynet does. I am a pedophile. I am a pile of shit. I am the world's greatest DNA mutation. I am Lorne Armstrong, and nobody will ever be a bigger idiot than I am. Hear me? Hello. Hi. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Oh, baby. Are you all right? Yeah. How are you, Lee? Well, I'm awake. Why? It's late yeah, for why? you. Why? No, this is early morning for me. <sighs> early morning for you, too. It's 420. 420. Oh, it's time to smoke. Yeah. That is my joint. Cashew. Oh, Cashew ate the rest of my joint. <laughs> <It's all. laughs> mm. I did, Good morning. I, did, I, I, I called Matilda. Okay. Oh, good. How'd that go? She didn't answer the phone, though. No. She's probably at work but, already. She goes in at four. Okay. Well, there's. Um. <clears throat> hang I'm on. Stretching. I get. Hang on. I get. A, I get a text. Let me call you back. I can make sure this is my uh, bull test. I hope it's, I hope it's on uh, another right, cat. Bye. Bye. Do, 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 do. Ooh, oh, oh, Lauren, I'm strong. Ooh, Hi. oh, Lauren, I'm strong. Hey, what up, yo? <clears throat> okay. Why don't you listen to me? Oh, God, are you going <laughs> to sing me a song? <laughs> no, I was on the phone with Jamie last night. Of course you morning. are. And it was like 3 or 4 o'clock in my time, I think. Okay. And... And something happened to her. They said code blue. And was she at a TSOL yeah. concert? Why is it happening like this? No. It was, an alert came over the system. Said code blue. Oh no. And and but oh, no. the nurse was right there. Oh good. But um, I don't know what's going on yet. But Matilda texted me back. What's code blue mean? Dad? I don't know. I don't know. Matilda, Matilda's going to tell tell me everything. She she texted me back. They Why called her and left her message. A nurse she texted me back. Be doing all this for help. That's not how hospitals work. Oh, okay, so you've been to every hospital. Hey, everyone. Doctor Slothcat's about to tell us about every hospital. Maybe this hospital says fuck HIPAA, uh, fuck confidentiality. You, if you want to <laughs> grab someone's phone and go through their phone and send messages to people, you can do that. We're not going to fire you because we pay minimum wage. Yeah, I mean, gonna, not... The nurse is going to text you back. She's going to be texting <laughs> you back and forth <laughs> information about, like, what? What world does he live in? This <laughs> he got not... a text into the nurse. <laughs> Yeah, I'm texting my nurse. She's going to let me know what's going on. Not even on. his nurse. Not, it's not even his no, nurse. Yeah, it's not even his nurse. <laughs> someone, he, someone he never met who don't, doesn't know who he could be anybody. He's texting. She's in a meeting right now and will be for another 15 minutes, she said. Ah. So she's going to find out what's going on for me. So, but. 
I've hold on. I know a song called Code Blue. Um, let me think of the lyrics. And um, late at the night, so silently, I creep on over to the mortuary and lift up the casket and fiddle with the dead, the cold blue flesh. Oh, Code Blue, that's dead. Oh, no. Because he says, do what I want and they won't complain. I want to fuck the dead. Somebody died in her room? No, it was I thought her. she was the only one in there. She died? Are you here? She L- died? Listen, listen. Oh, my God. Hey, no, no, no. Listen, listen. Listen. Oh, no. Come on, Winnie. Winnie, you've got to calm down, honey. We don't, we don't know what's... Hey, you've got to calm down. Okay. You, you cannot get hysterical. Oh, my God. We, we don't know what's going on yet. The nurse was right there. The nurse was right there, and they they got her right off the bat. So we don't know what's going on yet. Matilda is going to find out for me. Yeah, calm down. Bro. That Emo Phillips guy? Oh, no, not Emo Phillips. The who? <laughs> the nurse is Emo Phillips. The nurse is Emo Phillips? <laughs> the nurse is Emo Phillips? Yeah. Ooh. Sounds he just talks like... really slow? Yeah, like here. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he was, funny. He was the nurse. Mm, well, I shouldn't make fun of his speech impediment. <laughs> See, he's a stand-up comic, and that's what the nurse sounds like. Kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what he, if that's what he sounded like at all. But I'd, oh, she's not dead. Talks talk really slow. I'm going to check the bituaries because that's when they tell you where bitches die. <laughs> no, Matilda is going to find out for me and, and, and let me know what's going on with her, okay? Okay. So, okay, so don't get hysterical. We don't know what's happening yet. We don't know. Okay. I'm going to be a strong girl. I'm going to be strong like Armstrong. Not like you're strong, but a strong arm. Like a 24-inch python, brother. I'm not going to cry. I got a real man here. I'm going to cry. I'm going to keep it don't together. Cry yet. Hey, okay. Hey, you, there's no need to cry yet. We don't know anything. I know. I told you I'm not going to. The nurse was right there. I, do you think he, they? Oh, thank you. He, do you think he's a strange nurse? I tell you. Yeah. yeah. Do you think they're? Do you think they're gonna? I'm. Uh, do you think she might? She might wind up being in ICU. I don't know yet. Revlon wine. Matilda, it's always Matilda, like two dollars on Amazon twice a week. That's what Jamie uh, Amy. I got it for her. I was gonna take it to her to die. No, 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 no. You can't take it to the hospital. They won't. Uh, they don't. Sloth Cat, who was playing Jamie Amy at the time? Was this okay. when it was Wine Lover, or, or had it already switched to uh, to Reborn? I'm not sure. So not only can you not animate, but you don't know shit that's going on. No, I don't. I just, you know, I just about randomly, <laughs> you know, just be picking the right thing sometimes. I'm saying I just, I, it's all about random. What okay. do you want from me, Wes? Like, I was just I wondering if brain I, I was, injury. I was just, okay. I was just, I was just wondering. This. I was just wondering if maybe, if maybe you knew. This. So, and does anyone know who was playing Jamie Amy at the time? They don't permit alcohol in the hospital. No, wine, Revlon lipstick. Oh, oh, lipstick. She said she, she needed she color to stay so it doesn't come off on the ventilator, and she can still look super hot. Like her mouth is going to look okay. like a puckered anus where poop comes out. Okay. I, I will think of that okay, instead. Well, I will think of poop and I will cry, okay? That's my happy place. Okay, well, just calm down. I am not okay. going to go berserk, I promise. There's, there's nothing that we can do, so don't get hysterical because we don't know what's going on yet. Oh. When Matilda, Matilda will find out what's going on and let me know. God, that. But I was on the phone with her. Is Will dead too? <laughs> no, Will is in ICU. I see you too, but I haven't checked on Google Earth forever. I like my joke. <laughs> I like your joke. That's a good joke. <laughs> okay. Hey. Hey, sweetheart, don't, I kept it together. don't get hysterical. I'm not. Dude, you don't hear me yes. freaking out. I'll be like this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not doing that. 
I don't want you to cry either because you don't know what's going on yet. She I could cry from just- worried. Yo, if this was Lauren and he was not, he would want you crying right now. He would be upset if you weren't crying. He just doesn't want her yeah. crying because it's not over him. Yeah, but if not, there was even a him. yeah, if there was an ounce of speculation, he had something. You know, a two percent chance he had cancer or or like they were gonna lengthen his penis or whatever for medical reasons. He would want he would want her crying immediately, and he would be really upset. But like, yo, don't you dare fucking show emotions for this other person because it ain't it ain't me. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you can. Right. Yeah, save all, save all that shit, girl. There's no need to because you've got you don't know what's going on yet. Because I got I'm you. worried. I'm worried too. I got I can't you. do anything about it right now. We'll support each other and be strong like bricks in a house to hold each other up so the roof doesn't fall in. Okay. Okay. Ow. I really want. I really want you to keep it together because. You, you've got to. I will, I promise. I'm going to be really strong. I'm not going to be a gay girl, lord like you. Girl. No <laughs> being gay. <sighs> okay, I got strength. Okay, I'm I'm going to get dressed and go down there and just wait in the visitor's room because I know Matilda's at work and she'll be able to talk to me. Okay, and you've got to leave... Uh, Cash you at home. You cannot take him with you. I know. Jamie's ex came over and I asked him if he wanted to spend the night so he could be with Cashew when I went to the hospital earlier. He was the babysitter I found, so he's asleep downstairs on the second well, why floor. Did Jamie's ex, why did Jamie's ex come over? Because he said that they were in an um um, a bondage video where he wore a gas mask while he spanked Jamie Amy with a water hose and he was uh, he left the mask over and he was asking for it back uh, and I asked him if he could please watch Cashew for the rest of the day and he said okay okay it's not okay. he didn't come over for sex his name's Dirk Dirk yeah yeah I did show uh, him my vagina, though. That is unnecessary. <laughs> what, what, <laughs> what was the point of that? That was such a. It was such a long, crazy explanation, and and Lauren, it, Lauren didn't hear anything about her doing it. He's like, all right, all right. It's fine. There was a mask. Someone's getting spanked with a gas mask and a BDSM. That's fine. I mean, I did show my vagina. <laughs> well, I, I need to know why. There better be a good reason why you saw the doctor didn't do it. Rich is up. He asked oh. Um, oh, yeah. if I was in movies, and I said, no, but I'm shaved like a porn star. Because when I went to the salon, I got it done, and I haven't seen Will. And there's nobody around to look at it. I just showed it to him. He said, well, nice. He said, nice work. And then I pulled it up, and then he's like, would you like me to order a pizza? I said, okay. There was nothing funny that went on, you know? Well, you still don't need to show me private parts. You call private parts for a reason. Oh. I don't call them private parts. I call them my genitalia. <laughs> well, they're private. They're for, they're for only special people to see. Who decides? I know, but everybody in the world has seen yours. yours. Isn't that for her to decide? <laughs> I mean, and he's he's talking to a grown woman, calling it her private part. <laughs> That is your no-no zone. She is a grown-ass woman. If she wants to show her vagina off Jesse style for free on Discord and advertise it to to various Craigslist postings, then she can do that. It's for her to decide how private it is, not him. And like she just said, his dick's been seen by everyone. Those aren't private parts. They're public parts. (laughs) Anyway. That was a dead bug now. I love you so much. I'm going to just... I'm going to put on some clothes because I walk okay. around naked. <laughs> Make sure you have your mask on when you go to the hospital, and don't don't throw fits or anything like that either. Okay, you've got you've got to stay cool when you're there. Jamie has a thong that covers just the pussy but not the butt, and I can put it around my ears like ear loops, and that's what I've been using. It looks like a really fancy girl mask, like how Judge Judy wears a girl robe to tell everybody that she's not a man. It looks really cool. I'll wear that. Is oh. I'll wear that. 
I promise I won't go without a mask. Matilda told me the rules. She is wearing a thong on her face. Wow. She's Wait. walking around with a thong <laughs> on her face. And he doesn't have a problem with that. And, and like, it like, I mean, you would just think he wouldn't want her wearing underwear like that anyway, because it'd just be like, oh, you're trying to be fucking sexual. And she's walking around with a thong on her face. It's fine. Absolutely. Thong on her face is fine. He <laughs> just don't no... want her to throw a fit when she <laughs> at the hospital. Okay. <laughs> don't throw a fit though. You can wear the thong on your face, but please you know don't but don't take normal. the cat and don't just, throw a fit. Just be normal with the thong on your face. She said I can't kick hospital doors. I have to wear a mask and I can't bring an animal in and say it's a baby chola. And I followed them all. All right, good girl. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Cashew ate the piece of pizza I put next to my Lorne doll. Well, he was hungry. Nah, it was his breakfast. It was your your pizza. It was pepperoni. No. That's what I call it now. <laughs> well, that's all right. My stom- my stomach's full because I just had French toast. Yummy with syrup. I love it. Yep. Ah. Oh, was it real maple syrup? No, no, this is store bought stuff. Oh, uh, you should go next door and still, I mean, take some from those maple trees. <sighs> God, you sound like stretch. Blanca. <laughs> I had to stretch. Okay. Okay. So behave when you go there, please. Don't, don't. <laughs> Dirk. Don't lose it. <laughs> Dirk heard don't me. Don't lose it, okay? What are you doing? Hold on, let me put clothes on. (laughs) 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 He heard you go, because they had you on speaker while I'm putting clothes on. And he came up, I guess, to see what I was doing. <clears throat> you walk around naked too. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the hospital. I'll be back, but you have to get out now. Is that supposed to be a real person? <laughs> that's a, wow. a Blanca. You don't know Blanca? <laughs> Blanca. And he's walking away. Oh, that's a nice set of buttons. <laughs> Is that her too? I bet you there's Winnie. coal in there. I'm not saying it to him. Winnie. Oink, oink. I am, but I can look. Behave. I can look. If there was a hot chick in front of you with her buns hanging out, you'd look. With her buns hanging out. Can't argue with you there. <laughs> I'm not touching. With Looking her, and not touching is the way that you're bun. supposed to do it. That's what Emma taught me. Yep, that's true. Okay. I got my shoes. He's on. And now I got. I got my Max. Matilda calls it a Max. And now I call it that to make fun of her. She doesn't even realize it. Ah! <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, God, it's too early for the buses. I need to call it Ubers. All right. I'm going to go. Bye. I'll call you back. All right. Ah. Okay. Bye. Ooh. Lauren. Oh, crap. I answered the wrong phone. He called Matilda. And Winnie answered. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Apes. So, is he not even going to question that? I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Matilda. Hey, baby. I was just on the phone with Winnie. I called, and she said, Lauren's calling, and she hanged up on me, and then it said conference call for about five minutes. It was really strange. It was on silent. (laughs) (laughs) Have have you uh, you found anything out about Yeah. (laughs) She okay? 
Well, all I know is right now she's on the advanced ventilator that they ordered. They only got five here in the hospital. She needs something really, really strong, apparently. But I ain't had a chance to peep her chart yet. Winnie said in a text just right now she going to come down, maybe see if they can release some information to her. Yeah. I was on the phone with Jamie. It was around 4 o'clock. That's early. Yeah. Why that girl awake at 4 o'clock? She, she, sleeps, she sleeps during the day and she stays up all night long. She like a vampire bat. Tried, yeah, well, I, I try to get her to sleep at nighttime because it keeps me up. And, or, you know, it makes me tired during the day when I'm trying to do stuff. I'm trying to get this place fixed up halfway decent before she gets here, before she comes here. Well, here's some so news It's like all you. kinds of things that, Jamie all kinds of things that I'm trying to do. She going to be okay, I, I think. You can't be telling that girl what to do. She going to do the opposite, just like your Winnie. I know. It, it, that's so irritating. They got her on their oh meds, taking away her ability. The frontal cortex is where she processes all the information that's supposed to be a filter for her mouth. And that ain't working right now. We got to bypass that so we can get all her organs running the right way. So they gave her some strong medication. All right. Her, her nerves last night kind of irritated me. I've, I've never heard them before. I don't, I don't believe. But The private nurse yes. or the nurse on the rounds? I think it's the nurse on the rounds. Nikki? She's talks, okay. Talks really. No, it was uh, uh, a guy nurse. Mm. Talks really oh, slow. Oh, of course. I know she had nurse. a private nurse he signed up on her chart. Yep. I don't remember that person's name. The only person working last night in her wing was Nikki. Winnie, uh, Winnie knows who it is. Because I told Winnie about who it was. And, and she knew who it was. And she knows, knows the guy talks slow. And I guess he's he's a comedian, too. I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know. But he, <laughs> he came <laughs> in and uh, asked Jamie about who she was and if she was that 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 person, and Jamie said, "Yeah," and told her that she had the nicest tits and yeah. in her business, and okay. asked her for her autograph, and they said he uh, was going to bring his stuff down to his car, and he'd be right back to give her a medication, and and that worried me. Kiwi, Kiwi, who, who worked Jamie Amy last night? Oh, she said Nikki called in sick, but she don't know who it was. It was some guy. He, Jimmy invited him to, to sit there and, and talk with her while I was on the phone. Maybe he was one of the new hires from the home health agency. I, some of our nurses got sick, and we had to bring in some contracted work. I might not know him. I know. I know I was throwing a fit about him. What? He He was... He was even cussing about about me on the phone. Born. Because <laughs> I was because I was upset. And well, if there was a cold to... blue, he probably got upset because maybe he thought there was something to do with her stress level. I know last night well, I can was... see that there was a noise complaint from a Baskin. A no a noise complaint. Three or four times yeah. she wrote it up here. I can no, see. Wait a minute. There must have been some loud complaint. stuff going on. You hospital. can't be having that girl do loud. <laughs> like it's a Motel 6 <laughs> and the desk is having a call to ask you to keep it down. A keep noise, noise complaint. Down in there, please. Guys, there are people. Got Other people have rented rooms tonight too, not just you. Can you guys keep it down, please? Can you keep down the talking and the comedy and that? that. <laughs> All of that. <laughs> I heard, I heard a, it was like a rose or a slam. I don't know what was going on, but that's not what we do at this hospital. Well, last time we did have a rap battle in here, but you know, that was last time the doctor was involved. So if was you have okay. any issues, I'm gonna have to ask that you text a nurse. <laughs> Just <to anything. laughs> I have a list of all their numbers. Yes. I I was I was trying I was trying to to get her to let me to sleep. Oh, okay. And she she kept playing some 70s 
some stuff. It was uh, something on her phone. It was just repeated stuff. And repeated. I was like, wow. I, I told her, I, I, I said, Jamie, I, I said, can't you try to sing something? If you're going to sing something, it's going to be singing so it's not so out of hand. But she is, she, she kept playing that stuff. And oh, then her and I, and she must have been playing so well. Because of that like, guy. Kind of yeah. the guy. Yeah. Went in there and asking her for her autograph. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, I don't know what was going on. Half <laughs> and asking her about her movies and all that. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah. It's supposed to be professional there. And he's in there asking her about her movies and saying how nice her tits are. And Ooh. I'm like, that's not how they're supposed to treat a patient. Yeah, absolutely. Not. Cover <laughs> Profe- uh, he talking to the nurse right now. What does he uh, mean? Like help- it's supposed to be professional. Or not? <laughs> <laughs> but look how professional she's being with him. She's staying on the phone with him for minutes at a time. To discuss the healthcare of someone that, as far as she knows, they've never met. She doesn't know who this person is. Could be anybody. But she's handling it in a very professional manner, like a professional. Because she has no other patients to yeah. attend to. No, she has. But there's, there's other nurses. She's not. She's the. She's the phone nurse, the one that'll get on the phone. Like, that's her designated <laughs> on duty thing. Oh, found sound him right really, to me. really offensive. I found him really offensive. I was all upset about that because I didn't know what what he was going to bring back from his car when he came back. When we came back, yeah. It was. Do you mean the cleanup attendant? I don't know. Winnie knows who it is. But Winnie's not there, bitch. So when, when she comes over, she when she gets there, she'll be able to tell you. Okay. Well, I just cloaked in a. Meeting's over, and I got to take care of some things before the hour's up. But I'll make sure I can get over to where Jamie Amy is within the next few hours, hopefully. Looks like she in another wing. She ain't even here in this building. She's not even in the building? Now, don't get worried now. The hospital's made up of three different buildings. There's one for intensive care, and then there's one for sensitive care. That's where she was in last night. And then there's one for just general care. Looks like she's in intensive care. Oh, shoot. She moved up a notch. Her and Will both are intensive care? That's what it looks like to me from reading the the patient room list. Is there any way to put them in the same room? Well, I don't have much jurisdiction in that building, baby, but I can ask. Okay, because I think that might help them both. That one, cause they're best friends, so. You really sure that's a good idea? With all that peeping she be doing, he bends over? I know. But... <laughs> I don't want to start no trouble, but ain't nobody <laughs> in this hospital now know that Willis don't got a big, yeah. beautiful... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Willis? Jamie, Amy, well, tell everybody. Just like how Winnie I used know. to tell about your banana. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. It's, it's incredible. It's, it's a well, by the sounds of it, it know. is incredible. I don't want to look at the picture, though. Jamie, Amy has it on the phone. But actually, I think, oh. I think you're right, Matilda. I think to not have them in the same room would probably be the best yeah. thing because that way it'll, it'll keep keep both their, their stress levels down. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think both of them got their hearts worked up around each other a lot. You don't need no extra stress on their heart right now. No, I know. Well, Jamie was pretty demanding on Will. And, you know, I don't think that helped Will at all. Because he works for, for Jamie. So he... And he wasn't being honest about how he felt. And he told me that right the day before he wound up going, getting really sick and going into, into intensive care. Oh, no. And well, he he was didn't want to spend the money that he had. He didn't want to spend the money he had on a medical bill for him in case he might have to use it for winning. Baby, they gave her sodium nevitol. What? What's that? That's to induce a coma. Oh, no. 
What's up, did they give her that? I don't see the time here. All I can see is the last medicine that was ordered by the doctor, baby. It was ordered by the doctor? Well, who else going to order it? <laughs> uh, I, know, I was hoping it wasn't the nurse that was in there. Why was the nurse? <laughs> well, it's a very special drug. That's why it's written here in red. Because it's also known as the date rape drug. Oh, Jesus. But all it's supposed to do here in the hospital, baby, is supposed to let someone calm down and sleep and breathe, just like they was awake. Okay, Matilda, you want to look into that? Come on. I'll do when that I guy can, went out baby. to his car, when uh, that worried me when that guy said he was going to take his stuff out to his car and he'd be right back in to give her a medication. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what? It looks like she's... Down for some row hip now. Yeah. That's some pretty heavy duty stuff. Very difficult to get. <laughs> the doctor has to sign a special form for it. Can I'm going to try can my you best. Find out who her, can you find out who her doctor is and, and ask if he ordered the stuff and to give to her and all that? Oh no, his doc her doctor's Indajit Singh. Singh. <laughs> he so also wasn't it her now. doctor. No, the the main doctor, the charge doctor of the wing is the only one who can order Rohypnol. Her regular doctor can't do it. That's why he's in red, baby. Okay, okay, what about that day rape drug? Rohypnol. So that's what that is? Mm-hmm. That's really concerning to me. Yeah, me too, Mark. So that guy was... I don't, I don't know. He was, he was just really strange to me. It's all well, strange. all they wanted to do was induce a coma, it looked like, because she was getting worked up about something. At well, first, they was going to order some nurse. Xanax for her nerves. And what was that? No, I'll say he needs to know about this nurse. It's, it's this nurse that's really bothering him. Well, it sound, uh, it's funny because when you heard the, when you're listening to the other, the call from the other side, uh, when you're, when you're hearing that, that nurse, you don't know about any of this other stuff that Lauren's like concerned with. And so, like, when he randomly says, I like your tits or whatever, it's just, it's just so like, out of the blue, and now you're hearing like how much more was going, was going on, uh, and and but her doctor was energy. <laughs> 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 and it looks like they didn't feel that prescription because the other one was ordered right afterward, but it don't give the time. Well, she. I tell you, Ray, we had a good day yesterday, oh her, her and I. Yeah. Then what and happened? we didn't talk much during the day, but when we did, it was it was really good. But then <laughs> when she woke up for the night. You mean um, she and thankfully I. Thankfully, I had already gotten a couple hours sleep. and But it's like she wanted to argue about everything. That's and I'm like, wow. And I told her, I even told her, I said, I said, how is it we could have such a good day, but come nighttime, all you want to do is argue with me. Well, that medicine, that medicine do put you on edge. Yeah. I know she's taking well, something pretty scared. Pretty scared. Maybe her being this induced coma is what she needs because she she needs to she needs to calm down. She she was the same the same exact way when Will was in there. And it's like geez, she she's sick and she just won't calm down. Well, what she took and what they gave her it was supposed to speed up her heart rate and her respiratory system. Now that's a stimulant. A stimulant gonna make you a little paranoid. A stimulant gonna make you a little argumentative. 
and it's going to put you in a different state of mind. Well, that's probably the reason she was acting like she was then. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. I thought it was odd that she, had, she acted so different yesterday compared to last night. Almost disrespectful. It was a drug. It looks like it could have had something to do with what's going on with the attitude. But I don't know the girl. I don't have any other frame of reference to compare her behavior to. I'm just going to do my best. I thought she was just a strong woman. Mm-mm. Oh, she is. She's got a lot of drive. But wow. She's got a lot of drive, and she drives me crazy. Hi, I'm Lauren Armstrong. Uh, we got a donation from Dan Dan. He's my man. Who needs Viagra with all this wonderful streamers? Much love. I think that's someone else saying that your voice gets them there. So thank you. Thank you so much for that, Dan Dan. He's my man. Say something smooth. Hurry up. Dan Dan, he's my man. Nobody can use. Holy shit. I said, say uh, something smooth. Um, you just read his name. <laughs> <laughs> you just read. And so many things rhyme with Dan, too. And you came up with nothing. <laughs> Fucking nothing. Look, this is the side effects of being. No, you, you gotta know, stop blaming that head injury. Uh, like, I, look, it's 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 a factual thing. And yes, Jay Potato Jay Potato Man's parking lot party. Perhaps my girlfriend being in a coma is for the best. Uh, yeah, I mean, but any, for anyone who thinks because she's in a coma she can't be cheating, that's that's not true. Lauren will still this nurse is still around, so you don't think Lauren's gonna be concerned about that if she's in a coma? She. You know what I mean? Like Lauren will be concerned because Lauren Lauren would do some shit like that. Lauren would be that dude if he wouldn't have got arrested at Dateline Sting House. Lauren would have got arrested at fifty eight for doing some shit and in, in like some place he you know some place he was at working. Hospital. Yeah, you, yeah, like not a, not a hospital though. It would be like a home, you know, like some Cornville. But he would be that dude. He would be that dude that would get in trouble for some shit like that. I weren't gonna do nothing. I'm not gonna, I was just checking up on her. She oh, didn't so, answer the yeah. phone, so oh, I came no. by her house to make sure yeah. she wasn't hurt. <laughs> he would be doing some some creepy shit. I know she's. I know she's getting antsy being in there because she can't do anything. I know that's probably helping the helping her to create an argument with me, so that way she have something to do. Well, she sure do have a high sex drive. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, no. Definitely no laugh. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Reaching to the choir. I know she was bugging Will for some. Uh-oh. For something the other day. I just heard him saying, stop it, Jamie. Stop it, Jamie. Yes. See, if she, if she, if she wasn't drugged up and in the hospital like that, she wouldn't, she wouldn't do that. You don't think so? She wouldn't act that way. She died. Well, because yeah. because of me. What? She died proper, more proper, I should say. Died more proper, more proper like. <laughs> Not a one of his imaginary. Well, I don't know if you're gonna be the one to tell proper. people about acting proper, Lauren. <laughs> I think that uh, I know. <laughs> you was on. You was on the brink of death. You certainly would be questioning lots of stuff too, and all that medication yeah, she yeah. on. She's scared. And sometimes you just got to be patient with somebody who's combative. Yeah, I know. I'd like to be able to just agree with her and and everything, <laughs> but it's like when she's saying certain things, she knows she knows what bothers me, and so she'll say that stuff just, just to, because it bothers me. She only says it just because she, she only says it to be mean, and because she knows it's incredibly accurate, Matilda. That's all. She's just saying it to hurt my feelings. Just to <laughs> to argue. That's, that's all just that saying it Matilda, she don't got no respect for me. Can I be honest with you? She she don't like me, and she don't got no respect for me. And she pretends she's saying, I love you, Matilda, but she's saying, I loathe you, Matilda. So if you can do, you know, get the doctor to prescribe her some different drugs to reverse that, you know, that, that would be very helpful. Thank you. She knows it. Bothers me. I don't think you care. So, and I try to, I try to keep it in check for as long as I can. And it's like, oh my god. Well, why don't you just let her win and pretend like it bothers you more than it does? Then maybe she stop. You got to learn how to manipulate these situations, baby. If you think she yeah, tried and get you all. mad, 
You think she trying to get you mad? Just get mad. That way she feel like she in control of something. That's what we do. We tell the patients who is combative. We ask them what you want. They tell us what they want. And then we just do it. Or we do something much like it. So they feel like they in control. Then we got to do what we got to do. Whether it's an exam they don't want. Or a shot they don't want. Yeah, that's true. I let her feel like she's in control and she won't be so combative with me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fight it, baby. Just get mad with her. She's at an emotional height right now. And when she escalates and someone else is escalating with her, she feel like she in control of the situation. Even though it's manipulation, that can all be corrected later. But right now, yeah. we got to focus on making baby girl feel better and more comfortable. Ain't nobody able to feel confident when they up in the hospital connected to a machine. Machine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I know she loves being able to have me as her outside source, though. Matilda's going to get fired. I know that she's still alive. Uh, well, I can tell you she ain't on the list for the underground wing. She's okay. Thank, thank God for that. Thank, thank, God, thank God, God for that. Jesus. Thank Jesus. Okay, baby. Matilda got to go. I don't want to get in trouble. I spent almost 20 minutes on the phone chatting with you. But I'm going to make okay, sure Matilda. that I do what I can to get you some information. The only thing is, this wing is very protected and mm -hmm. secure. You can tell. So if they ain't going to tell Matilda anything because Matilda don't work in the wing, I ain't going to press the issue. Okay. Um, if you can, if you are able to get in to see her, whisper in her ear that I love her. <laughs> whisper right, in that ear. Yeah, yeah I'll whisper in her ear. All right. Thank you so much, Matilda. I really appreciate your help. Just imagine being in a coma, right? You're in a coma, and 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 then I whisper this in your ear. Lauren says he loves you. How would that make you feel? Well, when I get out the coma, I'm going to just press charges on you for um, harassment during a coma. Because <laughs> you wouldn't even know. You had nightmares. All you would hear is sweet, sweet nothings in your sweet nothings in your dream. It's been sweet to, speaking of sweet nothings, it's time to see my favorite woman in the Bang Bang replay gang. Thinking of the holidays, say Bang Bang. That's hot. Uh uh. Think boom boom. We have a huge selection of 500 grams to light up your sky. That's hot. Hot! Uh-uh! Buy one, get three free. Now that's hot! Come see the Bang Bang Lady on 431 South, just eight miles south of the 280 bypass. Oh, cool, her hot! Come see Boom Boom for your fireworks at Fireworks Outlet. That's, that's hot! Ah, cool, her hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, more energy, bigger, <laughs> bigger. I mean, that was good, but but bigger. Uh, Noel, Noel actually took one of those women to prom. I'll let you guess which one it was. It better been boom, boom. It was, it was boom, boom. It was, boom, boom. It was definitely boom, boom. Bang, bang said no. I know you do. I'm only doing the work that I know God would have me do. Okay, you might not want to forget that when he's coming over. <laughs> I'm gonna get my spit mask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she told me that you told her how to how to act proper in the hospital, so, so she's she, she's not bringing the rack home. Oh, that's good. I gave her a list of rules and told her to draw a picture of each rule, and the girl did it. She's very talented. I thought it would look like a kindergartner drawing, and she's actually she loves you right now. She well, loves I, you right to death. She really does. Hope not that close to death. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, not that close to death. <laughs> <laughs> All, right, All right, young right, man. Thank you, Matilda. I'll let you, you, I'll let you get back to work. That's you do word, you. Though. You be a good boy. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much. All right. Later. All right. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. I'm here. 
you're here? They won't tell me anything, but I have a plan. Well, I need a plan. You need a plan for what? Uh-oh. Okay, the rule is you cannot acquire private information about a patient without their express condition. And I'm not on the list yet. For who? Um, for my husband and for Yami. Okay, well, don't worry. You, you don't need to. You don't need to. Matilda's going to tell us everything that we need to know. She, I just saw her like five minutes ago. Yeah. She said they wouldn't let her into the wing because she didn't have clearance. Oh, really? And that she tried to ask how the patient was doing because it was her patient. And they said that everything she needs to know will be told to her um, when, if and when the patient is transferred back. Okay, well, it's all right. We don't need to worry about it. They've got it under control. They'll, they'll let us know what happens. And as long as we know that they're being taken care of, the best that they can be taken care of now. Okay, so check this out. I told them that um, I was the power of attorney, and I I got a little bit of information about medicine Jamie Amy's on, and I, I thought that I already, if I could, I already know Matilda told me. Rant, 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 rant. If I could, <laughs> if I could, if I could go <laughs> into Building D, <laughs> where they are. Oh, D for <laughs> Dick. <laughs> D for <laughs> for Dick. Get it? <laughs> okay. Anyway, I get it. Anyway. I get it. Okay. If I can get into the D wing, um, and tell them the same thing that I said, um. That I'm the power of attorney, and when they ask for the paperwork, um, I can just tell them that the medical office was closed because their doctor um, was sick and they couldn't transfer the records right away. Um, and they gave me temporary access because I knew the name and date of birth. So all you need to do is tell me um, Jamie's date of birth and her real last name, and then I can find it out. Don't know. Her middle name is Amy. She hasn't told me her, her real last name yet. Are you kidding? Aren't you supposed to be getting okay. married? Yeah, but you don't, <laughs> it'll be, you don't want to keep hidden. It'll be on so. I told you my real last name the first time that I told you my real first name. You did not. Yeah, huh? No, it no, still took not. you a couple months before you told me. My last name? Yeah. Oh, you're full of patooki. Too bad I didn't no. record our conversations. What? How, yes. can I, no. how can I? How can I? How can I? Obtain info. Help me come up with a plan. We'll be like you Ethel and Lucy no, 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 you don't need to. I'm just, just let the hospital do what they have to do. If they, they don't need us sneaking around trying to find out information when they're trying to take care of them. Why are they doing a rape kit on Jamie then? Oh. Well, probably because of the drug that she was administered. What? Oh. They wouldn't do that due to the drug. I what? told me what the drug was. So. What? It's a I rape drug. I know. I told her I had concerns. So. So all yeah. the. I dressed up in a suit. I got Jamie Amy's suit. But all you got to do is pull on the Velcro and the whole thing just rips off. But I, I wore it from one of her business woman pornographers. And she. um And it looks really good on me, by the way. I look so fucking smart. And. um, And I did all of that. And I dressed up. I did my makeup the best I could and came down and I got all this paperwork. And it doesn't even matter because you already knew, but she didn't tell me. I didn't have to do all of this. Well, I, I thought Matilda was going to tell you. Yeah, but Matilda thought... isn't hanging out opening doors. She ain't a Walmart hospital greeter. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I told her that you were coming, so I, I figured you would already talk to her. No. Oh. I told her you were on your way over there. So well, I, she I called know. and I hanged okay. up on her. And then well, that, that was when help. I called you. No, that was when I called you. Oh. I didn't know well, there was a was problem. Probably, I thought she was just fucking uh, bothering me. No, she was probably going to tell you what was going on. Yeah, don't ever hang up on Matilda because she's telling you information that you want to know. <laughs> know. Don't ever hang up on Matilda. Well, so? You know, what's that to do with anything? She's nice. She yeah. loves you. Yeah. And she's black. Despite yeah. being black. 
I love her too. She has big old I know titties. Do. I know you. I know you love her. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's cute. Why is it funny? I wouldn't do her though. It's all pink on the inside. I've seen a black person's pink <laughs> vagina before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really, I don't really believe that that you need to be thinking about the order. <laughs> oh, I was going to say, you don't oh, believe God. that it's all pink on the inside? What color you think it is? Purple? Uh, I, don't, I don't believe that you need to think about the order. I'm, I'm sure she's not, uh, I'm sure that's not what she thinks of when she thinks about you. You don't know. I think lesbos are sexy as fuck. I think when she thinks about you, she thinks of it like you're her baby girl. Oh, whoa. She calls everybody what? baby. Hi, what? baby. What? Yeah, but I think that's the last combination of words you need to be putting together. Get that out of your wit to jail. Right? Get that out of get that out of your <laughs> she's your baby girl. No, nah, that was creepy. Why would you why would you ever say that again? Like if you robbed a, if you went to prison for robbing a bank on Main Street, would you ever go back to the prison on Main Street? Like, you would stay away from shit like that, right? <laughs> You'll stay away from even saying the word stick them up. Right. Give me the money. Really a, <laughs> thinks, she thinks you like a baby girl. You're, you're quite special to her. Yeah. I think she feels like you're extremely special to her. She talks about Jesus like they're friends. I said, Jesus wouldn't be caught dead with you with your weave that way. And she said, baby, I, there's no salon open right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so funny. You're in. Where are you? You are driving. I will look you up. Oh, I can't. There's no computer here. There you go. Where are you? I'm in my truck. I'm in my truck. You're just in the just front yard. Oh, how's your mom? Uh, she's good. She's all playing cards with Aunt Sharon and not Jolene, I think. She's Matilda taught me a song. Home. What is that? It's <clears throat> Jesus is holding me in the hollow of his hand. Doom, 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 doom. I, like I am his one woman band singing his praises, singing his praises. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was pretty good. Do you know what Matilda did not teach her? What's that? Hold on, let me I'm bring it up. Why don't, you, why don't you say something while I bring this up? Uh, Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that, take that. Uh, okay. Bad boy. Nah, <laughs> nah. The renewed mind is the key to the power that we need. The world is gonna see that it's Christ in me. It's about to get really good. Ready? Do it. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't that ready. Really. Well, hold on. This is good. Get through it right here. Right here. <laughs> how, how many rap videos did he watch to get these dance moves? <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> The clapping. The clapping. Uh, all right. <laughs> Yo, he started crit walking almost. <laughs> <laughs> I see walk, but that stems for Christ. <laughs> Good song. I didn't remember the rest of it. It was just some bullshit about Jeebus. <laughs> Jeebus. <laughs> Where are you at right now? I'm in the hospital. Oh. Being haved, right? Well... The status of my current activities is not have. I'm being hungry. You got, you got money to get something to eat, right? Yeah, I have tons of money. All right, good. I gave the guy a hundred bucks. Oh, maybe I can bribe the other guy at the front desk. No, 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 no. Don't want you wasting your money like that. They're taking Will, care of Will and Jamie. And Jamie so. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's all we need to worry about. Just making sure that they're being taken care of. That's the important thing. Because the boys in the hood are always hard. 
You, you got your face mask on? Yes. Okay. I look hot. And, and, just, and don't forget that you have the virus, so you can't yeah. be just touching everybody and everything. Do you have gloves on? No, I coughed. Well, Ooh. you gotta. You, you can't be doing that. Make sure you cough into your. Actually, lift lift your shirt up, just, uh, just the front of your shirt, and cough right underneath, and underneath the shirt, so that way you don't get it all over everything. All right. I lift my you shirt up. All I have is a black shirt underneath. Did you just say the cough into your shirt? Do you wear hey, face masks? Cough into your shirt. I, I don't because I don't oh, go around man. anybody. Oh, God. Yeah, because your breath smells on. Huh? You're used to not talking with showing your mouth open. Well, that, make, that makes sense, though, because if you're walking around with a thong in your face, just imagine how weird it's going to look if then you sneeze on the thong. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so then, then you've got, like, this, this wet thong on your face. That's going to look ridiculous. So rather so, than do that, when no. you're about to sneeze, just lift the front of your shirt and sneeze down your neck hole. Just sneeze in there. Don't be touching stuff. Yeah, otherwise you're going to ruin your face thong. That looked dumb. Crusty face thong. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing for the coronavirus. I know. I, I don't. Because your grill's all fucked up. I just go in, do what I got to do, get what I need, and I get out. Your mouth looks like Chernobyl blew up in it, and your breath probably smells. <laughs> it does. It smells good. <laughs> it smells like me. It smells like Sadie's puffer. <laughs> Whoa. That's not. That's terrible. <laughs> Lauren, is that true? Let me see your grill. Yeah, yeah, your grill. Take Sadie's fur out of your grill. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. Some lady went, right. I said sorry, but I showed her my middle finger. Oh, don't do that. Maybe but, uh, when you're in a public place like that. But, uh, <laughs> I'm in a business suit. I can do whatever I want. I'm white, wearing a no, suit, and get, hot. Doesn't matter. That's how life behave works. You, you need to behave yourself when you're in a public place. I mean, especially at a hospital, and especially now, because you, you got to remember they've got your husband. What was that? Said so you do take white people more seriously if they're wearing a suit. Do you? Yeah, I, I believe things they say when they wear a suit. Well, any suit, just any suit, and you then they've got you. Just it has to be like you know the the traditional suit colors, like you know, a nice, like, like a blue or like a gray, <laughs> like a like blue, a grayish, blackish. If it's an, another color, I think they're trying to you know, like trying to get, get me to go to church or something. So like a like a ye- rust yellow zoot suit type thing, you you wouldn't be like, yeah, okay, I'll hop in your car and go wherever you want to go. But if I pull up in a a black suit, I'm in a town car, and I say, hey, you're that dude, get in. I got a I got a big three picture deal for you. You just hop right in the car. I, I just hop right in there, you know. Like you know, it's what what harm can it be? You know, how bad, how bad could it be? He's in a suit. How bad could it be? If this man's gonna want to get blood on his suit. He's not. He's, he's clearly not gonna kill me in that suit. <laughs> he shook my hand. You know, he smiled at me. He went through the trouble of putting on his suit. <laughs> this man gonna kill me? Come on, ain't no one got that kind of time. Uh, we got a we got a donation from uh from Dan Dan. He's my man. Thank you. You guys always make Mondays great. And by by you guys, he means you people which means black people. And you're welcome for that, Dan. Dan, he's my man. We do our best. Um, no, all well, right. I do my best. So, you know. Well, and, and this is your best. That's the sad part. I don't know. If that's not a flex. Um, <laughs> Mary on the Prairie said, if I see somebody in a yellow zoot suit, I'm going to ask him what the situation is. <laughs> that's probably a good question. Pop, pop, pop. Give me, give me that side hug. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Walk away. Sure I coughed on her. And now she's moving. Winnie. <laughs> Winnie. Come on, Winnie. Winnie. That is not funny. You don't cough on people. What's the matter with you? <laughs> she wouldn't leave me alone. She walked up to me well, like she was so going to pull what? my card. You need to stop doing that She'll stuff. You actually card. have the virus. <laughs> what if she brings that home to her kid? She's too old for kids. <laughs> she looks like she's 80. <laughs> you should go stride your whip down West Ridge Road. <laughs> no, no. You're my, you need, you're my you inspiration for coming. I know. I know. I'm, I actually, I actually think that you should go back home now. 
because or go back to Jamie's now because this that isn't a video talk. game, and I'm not your player one to be moving across the city at your whim. Well, I, I thought you'd be up to going to Jamie's, from, I but I didn't know that they did. moved there. Well, when you I found out, you game. didn't tell me. I had to walk oh. all the way to the outside of Jamie's house for the Uber guy to pick me up. Yeah, but you was, you was already there probably by the time I found out. Did you and Matilda have phone sex? <laughs> 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 yeah, yet. good one. <laughs> yeah, good one. She said she had a good conversation with you, and then she smiled and went, mm-hmm. I was like, holy cow. Lauren phone-boned <laughs> Matilda. phone bone. <laughs> it was about the game. That was a, that's what a conversation was about. It was phone bone. You should call her gamey because you're gay. And you, and you, because I told her that you were on your way over. Lauren, you're something that rhymes with a maggot. <laughs> oh, faggot. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, shh, shh, my shh. Quiet. Not you. It's a service animal. Thank you. You better not have Cashew with you. <laughs> she I put cat dog cat ears on him. I found them at the put Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh my god, that's <laughs> To listen when I tell you that stuff. He's least trained. <laughs> that is oh, not going to fool nobody. Go back to you Jamie, no, <laughs> where you're safe and you're not going to get the virus any worse. Line. I don't want you spreading it around, and I don't want you getting worse from having it, getting it more from someone else. Getting if Jamie more. Amy really does what she wants and makes Will fall in love with her, do you want to marry me? She not doesn't want. Fall with Will to fall in love with her, and she don't want to fall in love with Will. She's not in love with Will. Oh, well, Will, maybe Will's she's not confused. in love with her. Will's in love with you, and Jamie's in love with me. No, he just making shit up now. Will yeah. is Jamie, and I am you, and we can all do an orgy. <laughs> Come on, I'm playing around. Boy, you got some wild ass ideas floating through your head. <laughs> I haven't taken any schizo pills for like two months. Cashew talks to me in my head. Hey, sweetie, I want you to go back to Jamie. But you're talking about going... getting any. I don't want you getting in more sick. You especially need to stay healthy, as healthy as possible. Why, Lauren? Okay, so here's the deal. I've been teaching Cashew how to fight, and I think that we can start a fight club with raccoons. Uh, no, bad idea. How's that a bad idea? You know what Cashew told me in my head? That he can't wait to meet Roscoe and say... You're going to tell me people wouldn't be down to go see some coon fighting? You tell me there's some coon I don't, fighting. I don't, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you can advertise that, really. Coon, come, come, yo, coons at noon. Ladies and gentlemen, coons at noon. We've got the animals wearing granimals and but like people think you're saying something else is gonna be happening. <laughs> <laughs> so you have someone like Noel or Blue Boy yell people are in like they're outraged and then they show up but it's actual raccoons it's actual raccoons fighting wearing baby clothes how do you not like that hey you know See? it'd be pretty funny I mean, you'll okay. at least get a crowd. You <laughs> would get a crowd. You would get, <laughs> get a crowd. 80. Yeah. Where's your that one? What? You like sucking wieners? <laughs> Wendy, will you get off that crap? Yeah, come on. I man. do get off on it. Every time I masturbate, I think of your true nature, and I think of your butthole opening up for the head of a penis. <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, something else. <laughs> I know. I'm talking like this at the hospital. Everybody loves it probably. Yeah, I want you to go back to Jamie's. When was the last time you made a come? When's the last Stop. time you made a come? <laughs> Did you think of me? When's the last time you Wait, made a come? I want you to go back to Jamie's. Go. I'm going to <laughs> Okay, thank you. I ordered That's breakfast. I'm waiting is. for it to come. I told them that because they have yeah. people waiting here to be admitted into the hospital. And we got a donation from, uh, why don't you read this one? 
polynomial program. <laughs> no one ever taught sloth cat about stranger danger. Now, see, I was taught, but as you he all know, taught, and I'll tell you exactly how he was taught. They said, uh, if it ain't white, it ain't right. And that was the entire lesson. <laughs> that was the entire that, lesson. That was the entire lesson. If it ain't right, white, it ain't right. <laughs> I'm, off, I'm Officer Smith. I'm going to teach you the one lesson you kids need to know. <laughs> this white if, man is in a suit. This white man is safe. <laughs> and they said, if it's black, they don't know how to act. So. <laughs> It's Lothcat took notes, diligently taking notes. All right, well, I guess you do got it figured out. And they were giving out, um, for people who are in the waiting room, they were giving out pamphlets or order cards because all the restaurants around here are closed. You can't dine in anywhere. And so I ordered breakfast for free. I got money, but I ain't going to pay. Fuck that shit. I'm good. I'm glad that you're able to eat. Yeah. You're my inspiration. Oh, nightmare with you guys. It's like a fever dream. Bad enough that I have that Will got really, really sick. Now Jamie's in an induced, medically induced coma. I don't want to go back because Dirk is there. He walks around naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell him he has to leave. His penis <laughs> is almost as anywhere. big as Will's. Oh I'm Another, like, what? <laughs> Some other fat dick He doesn't guy. need to be there anyway. He does. Well, he came over and I asked him to stay and watch Cashew oh, no. yesterday when you made me go to the hospital for no freaking reason. Okay, but that was yesterday. He this stayed overnight. Today. He, he can go back to his house now. And she showed him her vagina, right? Her vagina. Will has a bigger dick than you. I don't care. Jamie Amy told me. She told me. She keeps saying it over and over again. It matters. I know. She she's got a she's got a fucking problem with that. No, it seems like she has a problem without it. <laughs> I am. She's gonna have a problem with me if she don't straighten her ass out. She's gay too. No. She has to be to be with a bitch like you. Just kidding. I loathe you. I know you do. Lauren, how do you not hear that? Did you have a, more French toast for breakfast? Nope. I had three French toast, and I took the leftover eggs, and I cooked them, and I ate them, too. Wow. I like to put vanilla extract in mine. Oh, Emma yeah. taught me that. Why? Because yeah, that would actually taste pretty good. Well, you, well hold I, on. I, I, you never thought of that before? And cinnamons. Cinnamons? Mm-hmm. Mm. Cause okay. learns my cinnamon girl. You want me to tell you what you should do? Yes, I sh I do want you to tell me what I should do. You, that's what you do okay. best. Stop by the store and get some like chocolate swirl ice cream. Okay. And then you get a thing of of trail mix Hold on. with <laughs> the M and M's, peanut M and M's in it, and raisin. And any, anything else, doesn't matter what else. <laughs> but Cashew so makes raisins. Plus, you got peanut M Ms and raisins in it. Then you take okay. it, mix that in with your um, ice cream. Eat that. That's good. What? Chocolate swirl ice cream with a with a pack of. Trail mix with peanut M Ms and raisins. <laughs> what the fuck is he? That's just eating slop. What is that? It's like cold slop. <laughs> you know what's good. Get a can of chili and a, and a can of Pringles. Break the Pringles up into the chili. Then make some macaroni and cheese. <laughs> mix all of it. Mix all of it together and eat it at a hot dog bun. <laughs> what is all this crap? Like, why would you why would you do that like how what made you come up with that you know i've got this ice cream and that's pretty how do i how do i make this ice cream worse oh i know i'll pour this back i'll pour this bag of trail but trail now it's a health food <laughs> look at me mom i'm getting health peanuts okay <sighs> well make me chunky you know like you no well he's not fat you can you can <laughs> you're so funny i know you can put peanut butter in it too. Mix peanut butter all up in it too. Oh, oh, and peanut butter? Why don't I just buy peanut butter ice cream? Well, that's probably because more, more price. when you add your own peanut butter, you can add as much as you want, mix it all up. 
You can add as much as you want. Wait, wait, did he say if you got your old peanut butter, then you can just add whatever? <laughs> Well, yeah, because then you're not at the mercy. You're not at the mercy of big of big peanut butter, who controls the exact amount of peanut butter that companies are allowed to put in their ice cream. There's only a certain amount. Just like there's a, a certain amount of hairs and shit and bug pieces that are allowed in the chocolate that you eat. There is a there is a, a limit, a a very finite limit on how much peanut butter can be in each tub of uh, of ice cream. So Lorne beats them at their own game by buying a jar of. Um, obviously generic peanut butter because uh, he's going to say it all it fucking tastes the same it's just a different label it's the same shit as Jeff Skippy uh, <laughs> so he's going he's to buy he's going to buy some great value peanut butter he's going to buy some great value ice cream he's going to buy some great value trail mix and he's going to mix all that shit together and he's going to act like it is a protein filled snack like he's eating it but, yeah, it's dessert, but I made it healthy by adding all this trail mix. <laughs> it's, it's healthy now. Okay. It's healthy now. I mean, it's healthy now. It could be a meal replacement. I'm going to eat it after a big meal, but it could be a meal replacement. It's delicious. Are you going home? Uh, no, I got to go home depot right now. Cool. What are you going to buy? Butthole handles? Stop. Jamie told me you're going to get her butthole handles. I was like, like you don't, you don't have to pull <laughs> yeah. her by the handles. Just get her by the ears. Yeah, uh, she starfish handles. Get the chocolate colored one. ones. Uh, she said they haven't been stocked, but I'm not not ready to get them yet because they got to get the trailer more set, and I get a finish doing the mass bathroom up. We're not even done that yet, but. At least now I'll be able to do more stuff. You're making wise spending decisions. You've been working on your trailer for three years, and it's still, it's like no. almost 3% done. No. Well, it, it's getting closer and closer. At least now I've got time to work on it. Yeah. Last year it was it was 2%, it. and you made a whole percent. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look at this trailer, and you tell me this thing's not close to done. Man, that is. It looks, it, it looks like. When we were in Utah and we went and saw like one of the first Mormon settlements <laughs> that that was that they had recreated, this is what this is what it looks like. There should be a lookout for for unfriendly Native Americans. Uh, that's the only thing. I mean, the, dude, there's a plastic roof. This is um, if you were making a movie and you were trying to you know like figure out where the pedal was going to live in your movie, they would tell you that you could not. This is too on the nose. Because you look at this house and think a pet a pedo lives here. It's too on the nose. You know to stay away from this house. This is not a gingerbread house with with candy walls and and and, and gumdrops on the wall. This is this is no, just no. this is just a house <laughs> where a man is watching Three's Company on repeat and the news and getting upset that he's turned on. This looks like a mattress, like an actual mattress on the side of the house. <laughs> It doesn't tell me it doesn't look like a box, like a box. Yeah, it does like a, a box break. Like the bottom like of there was a, a box hole break. There. there was a hole there, and he's like, holy shit. This this box spring is bigger than this hole. I just I just, just solved he's in that six, that issue. I don't, and I don't have to go in that way. I can just go into this window, Duke's Hazard style. And why does he just have a pile of rocks? Why they look they're up? well, they're rocks <laughs> now. Rock. They're rocks now, but he's gonna do like a, a whole rock patio. Um, walkway thing and, and then an overhang that goes to that and then there'll be like a river he just hasn't done it yet you're looking at the before That's, I'm looking at it like you know you like know how hard it is to try to uh, draw that to purposely fuck up that's <laughs> Like, it's too hard for me to try to purposely draw a bunch of fucked up shit like, <laughs> around that like that. It's, I can't accurately get that one. I can't do that. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why he's doing it. <laughs> he's like, yeah, animate this sloth guy. I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh, you think it's fucked up now? Okay, watch. How about this? Uh-huh! Oh, last year I would have had more done if I wouldn't have gotten incarcerated. <laughs> Oh, it was your fault. Yeah, that didn't help. That didn't help me at all. Yeah, that <laughs> That's where Rue made you his bitch, and you were, you were just, you were just walking around 
prison wondering, why am I here? And you were blaming it on everybody. <laughs> no. No, I should have gotten three months, not six. Should have gotten 12. Gee, thanks. Let's see you love me. Well, that would be better for you, right? That way, if you get in trouble oh. again, they could be like, well, you already served 12. Now let you go. No. <laughs> point is to not get in trouble. Well, once you got yeah. in jail, you should have joined the mafia or the woods. Um, With everything that I had going for me and, and everything that I was doing right, <laughs> Bryce had what a problem. Have, what is he talking about? He yeah, had nothing going for him. He had nothing going on. What is he talking about? That's a bold claim. Explain, Slothcat. What did he have going on? He was a drunk, driving drunk, Talking to fake girlfriends, like what? What was happening? Like nothing was happening. He had plans to win the lottery, and was working towards that. Like nobody plans on winning the lottery. Oh, just everyone who wins, who, everyone who plays the lottery so much. Like my ex father in law, he won. He won a lotto scratcher. He won a million dollars on a lotto scratcher, and and then they said it was probably about as much money as he had spent on yeah, lotto. That's scratcher. what I'm about to say. How long was he constantly? But, but this meant, it was his. <laughs> that, but I'm saying like it was his plan to win the lottery. This was his plan. He was going to win the lottery, and look, a million dollars later, he did. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He also drove truck. Dude, like funny enough, that dude drove truck. Um, he's had a. That's probably what his problem was. Bryce wants your lips wrapped around his wang. He's just, he's always doing it with that dude, probably. The other guy. Who's probably. the other guy? Matthew. Yes, Matthew Broderick, whatever. You look like him. Matthew Morgan. Yeah. Big M, uh, little organ. <laughs> I, I really wouldn't know that. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> make a joke. <laughs> I stole it right, from Beverly yeah. Hillbillies. Calm down, there, girl. <laughs> gonna bust, gonna bust you I'm gonna bust a nut. No, <laughs> Winnie. You know, that's not too much. Yeah. Ah, I'll not. show you. I'll I'll bust a nut like you did in your brother's face. Right, oh, you go back and <laughs> I am. <laughs> Why would he be talking to these people? Like, it's no way. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you did your brother's man. All right, let's get back to Jamie. Let's just we're getting off topic here, baby. We're getting off topic. I right, hurry up because I gotta go put the mattress outside the house. <laughs> I gotta go put the box spray in the house. <laughs> it's, no, it's actually no, the it's bigger than the hole. It'll completely cover the hole. I just won't have a front door, but I don't even need one. I can go out the, the other hole on the other <laughs> side of the <laughs> It's a small remember, hole on the other remember side. The, remember the other thing I was going to put in front of the other door? Well, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to put beaded curtains. <laughs> I'm coughing. Hey, Lord's going to get attacked I by a black bear. That worries me. Lord's going to have a black bear just walk right into his trailer <laughs> and fuck him up. It's not going to have to do anything. It's just going to walk right in. There is an easy way for a black bear to get to Lauren's trailer, and it's going to happen. When you cough, I know. I get... <coughs> okay, maybe I'm not doing too well, but I'm doing my best. Um, you need to go back to Jamie's and stay away from people. Tell the other that guy that's there to leave. I will. He just came for his S and M gas mask, and he did me a solid. Yeah. And then after he went to the restroom, he did me a favor. <laughs> I just got <didn't> here. <laughs> He took a big dump. It smelled. I had to use poopery. This, this is a bully comment. Yes. Jamie, Amy loves poopery. You should buy some and take a picture of it. And she'll be like, oh, Lauren, after you shit, it won't stink. And she'll love you. It'll smell like fruity pebbles. It's on know. the reels, yo. There ain't no future in my frontin'. <laughs> that was a mouth fart. <laughs> Get that black hair Does your Home Depot only let 10 people in at once like the one here? <laughs> Does your Home Depot only let that's 10 Carl people Weathering. in at the same time the way they do? Did you say that's Carl Weathering? <laughs> Did you just call Carl Weathering a black bear? That's a racism. That's a racism. He's a black bear, you know. Well, actually, I fucked Lord up. <laughs> we 
have a black bear joining some of Negroes. The black bear that <laughs> fucked Lord's ass up. He had all this shit tied up in the closet with this slant. Oh, I fucked that dude. I heard he a pedo. <laughs> all the black bears knew he a pedo. Wait, here? Hello, you know, I I found him because I sniffed all that damn peanut butter he had in the house. <laughs> Motherfucker, yo, he made this shit though. Yo, we called it treasure cake. It was like ice cream but with nuts. <laughs> ice cream. So, and like an illegal amount of yo, so much peanut. Oh, yo, we were always out at that pedo's house. <laughs> we said, yo, that pedo got peanuts. No, this is a big Home Depot. Yeah, I know. The ones in California are bigger. Yeah. Well. I don't uh, evidently know because there are only 10 people at a time in there. Um, it has nothing this to do is. with the size of the store. It has something to do with the availability of the associates. Everybody wants to live in California and do home improvements. They have mo- a lot more money than the people in Maine, and they don't have to, like, wow. do stupid shit to put their rickety-ass car on a foundation and call it a house. They like to build houses well, and businesses. Here, it's the size of the, of the store square footage of the store what? if the store was so where like penises people can be in here they... will's store would be huge and yours would be medium sized wow. <laughs> whatever yeah, come nice. on just nice. laugh with me nice. i'm gonna die soon too no because i'm tired of hearing about will's penis <laughs> do you want to hear about others penises yeah, remember we're, dan's we're no mine. don't want to hear about anybody's <laughs> penis do you want to hear about yours it's curved <laughs> no I already know all about mine. Well, no, no, you don't. You don't know about the underside. I've looked actually. at it closely in all the pictures. Go ahead. Well, Trooper Grandson made a comment saying combat? I thought Slop Car I thought Slop Cat meant Carl was a big hairy gay man. I, I did mean it actually. Let's just say Carl Weathering is a Chicago bear, but we not talking football, okay? <laughs> <laughs> He's a Chicago Carl Weathering, bear, but not Carl a Weathering if, if that's not true, say something right now, or or it's act, I'm I'm gonna have to agree with. Uh, I guess that's what you're saying, right? You know him. I don't know him. Yeah, I I, I know him personally. So I mean, you if know, you know him personally, I just, all right. So, guys, when Carl Weathering does come in, bears in the chat. <laughs> bears in the chat. Believe me, I know that all man, about my penis. The like, underside of your penis has a little W on the head, like Will. W for what? Wh- will. <laughs> what? Wh- no, what? Wh- will. What? Will. Got a W on the underside, like what? Wh- what? Will. Yeah, wh- what? Wh- will. <laughs> it's not not true. <laughs> I'm drinking a Red Bull. That's true. Wow. Calm down, sweetheart. Calm down. You told me to do my best to keep my mind off of being sad. And the only way I can do that is by spitting hot fire, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even gotten all the boober yet. Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't have to call him. I'm using my app on the phone while I was speaking on you. Oh, okay. I can spit my game and still get a ride, yo. Okay, okay. Mm, okay. Oh, shoot. Lawrence <laughs> pop in the cherry stop oh. and let me ride. <laughs> hey, Lauren, la dee we likes to party. Say what? I said, um, a la dee oh, we likes to party. We don't cause trouble. We don't bother nobody. We're just a Winnie who's on the mic. Yeah. What? What if you met? Praise God every day. Stop jerking off. Stop jerking off. What? Stop jerking off. Stop. Stop jerking off. Yeah. Stop jerking off.
What do you think about? You like that? Yeah, man. I don't understand why he's telling me to stop jerking off, but in the end, he's burning down people's houses. I don't. That know. wasn't no. That wasn't him. That was a comment. Why? There was a comment that hit the. That was probably from like sin. He wasn't. He didn't light that fire. I I, I didn't see a comment. All right, well, I'll have you, I'll have you, you know. watch it again later. <laughs> yeah, I, I need to watch it again. I just kept hearing to stop jerking off, you know. While furiously, furiously disagreeing with that message at the same time. I get it. Oh, yeah. It's a rap song. Stop jerking off. I hear you. This guy, Cool G Rap, goes, all right, stop. Collaborate and listen. Lauren is back with a little penis. <laughs> Guess what? Chicken butt. Something. Does a little of them lightly. Flows like a hard moon daily and nightly. Well, ever stop. Yo, Lauren don't know. Give him a dick. And he'll blow to the extreme. And watch Mike like a candle. Light up the stage. Oh, no, wait. I got it mixed up. See which country does? It ruins everything. You got what? What? This is the queen of my double white trailer with the polyester curtains and the redwood dick. <laughs> what? Redwood dick. That's what I heard. Too. Sometimes she runs and I've got to trail her a tangled black heart and a pretty red neck. Oh, she's the queen. Oh shit! All right, you- Maybe our luck has changed. Settle down. Maybe Lauren's just deranged and on the rebound. Lauren on the rebound. Maybe Lauren was the thing holding me back from all. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a thing to break my own fall. Take the road to my heart and fall. You You may just be the. Do you know what's sad is that she sings so much better than Lauren, even when she's fucking around as another character. Than Lauren does, and this man really still thinks he could be a country music singer. Hey, he would have been a country singer. He would have <laughs> a chance with um, uh, what's her name, Miranda? Miranda Lambert, right? Miranda Lambert or Miranda Cosgrove. Well, either one of them. Any one of them, man. If he just wouldn't have messed up that time, he would have been there already. He would have been right there at the set of Drake and Josh spitting game at Miranda Cosgrove, getting arrested for a different reason. But still, he would have made it to the top, tippy top. The last go! For myself, a cup of ambition, yawn and stretch and try to come alive. Wow. See the I black tangled heart fall. You sing it. Yeah, baby. Oh, Godfrey. Fucking tired again today. You need to sleep. I know. I tried to tell Jamie that, but she fucking stays up all night long, sleeps during the day. She's in a rape coma. How could that be last (laughs) night? eh? It was like four (laughs) o'clock this happened. (laughs) I don't think that's what they're called. I tried to tell her that I need to sleep. Even though you want me to do stuff on the house and shit, but I can't do it if I can't get sleep. I'm sorry. Uh, she was she, she was great yesterday when we did talk. We got along so well, but gosh, she wanted to argue and argue and argue. George Glass. Uh- did a uh, silver chair sing Israel's son? Because if so, that was the only good. That was the only good silver chair song. Your last night. Is that what it's called? Yeah, oh, she does that a lot. Wow, I couldn't believe it. 
Whatever, Lewis. Never done so much arguing since I've known her. She did last night. Cause there ain't no sunshine with Lorne. It's nice and warm when he's away. Gee, ain't no sunshine <laughs> with Lorne. He'll show you his moon all day. And bendo, 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 bendo. I gotta leave. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a song. Oh my God, girl. Only darkness every day. You might want to take a little more time to put some actual better words into that song. Yeah. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. <laughs> better, better words. <laughs> Every time she goes away. Those, those words hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, the problem is, is those lyrics all rhyme, but they were very hurtful things about me. <laughs> you should try try again and say some things that make me feel good about us. Make me feel good about myself. That, that really hurt <laughs> that, my feelings. So I see what you're going for. And it was very comedic, and I appreciate it, and I love that about you, but could you say things that don't, Make me wish I wasn't who I am as a person. Thank you. I love you. Oh, I like Matilda's answering machine message. Huh. Urethra Franklin yeah. sings it. Urethra, Urethra. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I heard that. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> when Lauren Somebody puts on his makeup, like Jamie Amy calls, he wakes up. He <laughs> says a little curse on you. Can't wait for her to get out of the hospital. Me neither. Get better and get out of there. Yeah. Ah. Jeez, just driving me nuts being in there. Nuts. Ah, you have some nuts. I know. You like my nuts. I know. I didn't say I liked them. I know you do. Oh. Ah. Presumptuous much. Well, you tell me all on. Oh, I do. I do like your penis, though. Ah. <laughs> Okay. It's like you drive an SUV your whole life, and you're like, you know what? I'm tired of trying to park this huge thing in this little space. I'll buy a Lorne. <laughs> hey, hey, hang on. Let me call you right back. I can get a text, so I got to see if that's my. <laughs> Do right, man. Yes. <laughs> Lorne's a Yugo. Lorne's a Nova. Because in Spanish, that means no, no go. go. Like it doesn't go. <laughs> no da, no da. Yeah. On, say- on my other channel, I actually made a, a video about that. Because Chevy Nova, Chevy released the Nova in South America. No one no one thought like, hey, maybe we shouldn't release a car there that's called doesn't go. Uh, and so it didn't sell well. <laughs> Porque no va. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Yeah. How are you this morning? Are you getting ready for work? Yeah, no, I'm. Uh, I already worked today. I had a pretty good day. What about you? Bye bye. I'm a do right woman. You go. Who goes? Oh, cool. I got to tell you, Lauren is really stupid. He upsets me. Hello. Oh, God, here we go. Jesse. Click. Something in the way. It's curved. It was. It was my breathalyzer thing, so I just took it. Reminds me of no other penis. Oh, crap. Lauren uh. is so fat, he moves. You're a big cow now. Show me your sow. 
sit down, we see the belly roll. <laughs> Molly, you weren't even fat. <laughs> I'm sexy. Do you want to spread my butthole? It's clean right now. Will you behave? Come on. I'm just saying things to make the Uber driver laugh. <laughs> She's in the Uber talking about her butthole. Oh, Winnie. No, I wasn't <laughs> asking you. I was asking my boyfriend, Lauren. We're going to pretend you're my boyfriend. Well, behave. You behave. What do you be- oh, behave. <sighs> I can't go in there. Nah, not if Jamie Amy's in bed with you. What? Not if Jamie Amy's in bed with you. She accepts lots of things in her exit. Whoa. Hold on now. You will not talk about my woman. Do you think those little dwarf people with tiny heads can fit their head in Jamie Amy's That's a good question, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren, as your lawyer, I'll tell you that. She needs to get better before she can do anything. Yeah, that would be a really <laughs> cool point <laughs> out. Put a snorkel on like a little midget Listen, with a tiny head. <laughs> we've all wondered. We, we have all wondered if a tiny-headed man could fit inside of Jamie's asshole. All of us. But before we can even, guys, before we can even think about that, she gotta let's get, get around the room. She's got to get better. <laughs> guys, she has to get, before anything could go, before anything's getting shoved up her asshole, guys, she needs to get better. Let's, we, we're all excited. We're all thinking about her butthole and will this fit? Will that fit? But like, honestly, guys, let's not be selfish. Road to recovery. Then we go right back to road cones in Jamie's butthole. Because that was my, that was my make a wish. I don't know what I'm going there. I know what. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you gonna arrest me now? <laughs> Can I go this way? Ha! Ah, they yelled at you for going the wrong way. Okay. Can you, you read arrows? I'm up behave myself. <laughs> it's not even <laughs> English. It's probably just an arrow. <laughs> you can't read it. <laughs> oh, it actually said exit right on the door. Big old letters that ever. Phoenix, I was watching about someone else. It was probably written in Chinese. Let me hear you say, Woo, Tang, Woo, Tang. Uh, shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, ya. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so cool. You're so wacky. Hey, Lorna, uh, baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. I said, Hey. <laughs> You know, I was probably the oh, coronavirus since you're out in public and you don't really need to be. Everybody, what was that? I said I was listening to ODB the other night. He was like the oh. he was like the weirdest member of Wu Tang. He was, he was the he was the Charlie Kelly. He was a wild card. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was because uh, I was high, but he made a lot of sense somehow. Oh yeah, you were definitely high. <laughs> Either you were high or Carl Weathery had snuck up in your house. I'm and like, uh, and and DDT'd you while you were taking a nap. I'm like, man, this this makes sense to me. <laughs> Hold reason. on, like, well, this, I heard this before, but this, it didn't make sense. But now, bitch, better have my money. <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. Who's there is making a very important improvement on their home, like fixing the roof or perhaps getting kerosene. But you're just there to buy. Some stupid shit for some stupid shit that doesn't need to be done. Oh. Hope you're proud of yourself. Good, Neil. You didn't see. Yeah, that's you what you're going to be telling your mom life. when she's in the hospital asking you how you're doing because you gave her the corona. When they don't start doing that crap. You told me not to go out for anything that's not absolutely important. And what are you doing? Probably you don't even know because you don't even know what you're there for. You said I can yell at you. This is for yeah, public do, safety. I'm making sure that I. Public safety is important. While I'm here. That's why they make you do a safety plan make whenever sure you I get everything that I need while I'm here, so I don't have to come back. That's why they make you do a safety plan whenever you're with a child, because public safety is very important. You got to keep the citizens safe. Well, don't you agree? That's right. That's why I want you to go back, Jamie, and stay there. What? Okay. Well, then you go back to your trailer and stay there. Yeah, away from anyone. I will as soon as I get what I need. What do you need? You don't even know. You're probably going to buy a screwdriver. Yeah, it's going to be the wrong one. You're going to get a Phillips. But right. you need a flathead like the back of yours. <laughs> 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 you, <laughs> I want you to saw my pussy open with your blade. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> 
Well, that's sensual. Oh, that's very <laughs> sensual. I'm better. <laughs> You're something else, I tell you. Yeah. Can you make a left right here, please? I need to get some smokes. I call them smokes. Only cool people can do that. What do you call them? Smokes, cigarettes. Call them ciggies? Nope. In the UK, they call them fags. And it's not a gay thing. Like, even though it's look like a penis and you put it in your mouth. Uh, and they don't even count the way you hold it. It's it's just like a fag. It's That's the um, term for a cigarette. But you don't call a gay person that because they'll probably kick your ass because gay people are really strong. They have to be to lift another man up and down on their cock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I don't know. Cigarillo. Hi. Two Camel Crush Silver, please, right now. And get a pack for yourself. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yep, it's all good, bitch. Everyone had that same voice. Every background character, every background female character had that same, well, thank you, voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how could he hear, how could he hear Joey's voice or Crestfallen? Like, they're such unique voices. How could he hear those voices constantly and not put that shit together? Or like Tiffany Lockhart. Because he's ridiculous. I don't... He's not smart. He, you he, know? Only, he has... His brain was made by Cinco. Like, he only has... He has like six settings. He can remember seven things at a time. So as long as you just keep filling his brain up with new things, he just forgets all the old shit. You can just retrain him all over again. It just It's, it's just weird because there's such unique voices. You How do you not... How do you hear that voice not go, wait a second, I've heard that shit before. Can I have the number three and the number four scratcher? Which one's the best? Thank you. Well, I prefer Deuce as well. Excellent. You sound like my daughter. Can you get yourself one too? You sound like my daughter. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I don't mention it. <laughs> well, gee, thanks. Well, gee, thanks, Mr. Thank you. Sure, I'll get your truck. <laughs> My name is Little See, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good doer. This stupid bitch here is working minimum wage at this fucked up ass job. And I made her life better. Hopefully she'll win the jackpot. <laughs> I got these scratchers for Jamie. She likes them. She wins all the time. And guess what? Right now, the, um, oh, and it's done in Maine too. In Maine and Kentucky and Nevada and Arizona and California and Washington. They all have the, um, they raise the probability of winning for their scratchers because people aren't buying them right now. And like, oh, really? yeah, yesterday I spent $5 on one scratch ticket and I got 95 bucks. Well, I got a hundred, but minus the five I spent on it. Mm -hmm. And then I went this morning on my way to the hospital and I got five more dollar scratchers. And one of them was a $15 winner. Whoa. Really? Yeah. Lord, Lord, They're doing Lord, it in Lord, all the states. Lord, Lord's like, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. This sounds like an investment opportunity. <laughs> it sounds like you literally can't lose right now is what I'm hearing. Exactly. So oh, here I am putting money in the Beanie Babies when I could be investing in lottery tickets. I need to get in on that wreck. <laughs> <laughs> it might be cool. It's like a nice surprise if you get, you know, it's a fun $2 purchase you can get for your mom. The higher the value of the ticket, the more likely you are to win. It was on Fox News, so it has to be true. Huh. Yeah. I can't I couldn't believe it. It was like I'm not hurting for money, but like because of that I felt generous and you know, just kinda like buying stuff for people. Not big things like a house. I was gonna say, you don't you, you need to save some of your money there. Well, I know, but I'm just spending my lottery winnings. That's all the money that I have in my pocket right now is just from the scratch tickets. Everything else is in the bank account. Holy fucking Christ, that's expensive. What? I know, a whole dollar for the discount bank? That's what lawyers told me I needed. What is it? A toilet paper roll? It's a, no, it's a, a chip lever for bathroom dream. Oh, the cock and ball, right? No, no, it's a different one. You, just ditch, 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 ditch. you can just use a bunch of paper clips until they rust over, baby. That's what we used to do when uh, we were poor. 
I, I guess I'll wait to get that because I don't know if that's exactly what Roy wanted me to get or what. Well, just get it and then you can return it, baby. No, I don't want to spend the money on it if I don't have to. Then make another trip back if I don't have to. What? You're going to make a wise choice? Um, Ella, excuse me. I'm looking for Lauren Armstrong, not you. Uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm telling you. I need, I need fucking sleep. I bet you don't look tired. I bet you look wide awake. No, I probably don't look <laughs> tired, but geez, I, I can feel it. Two nights in a row. It's <clears throat> a nice tip. You're welcome. <laughs> nice. yeah, it's, uh, it'll sound like a <laughs> No, it's a guy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I dropped him a 10, yo. Nice tip. <laughs> that sounded like Matilda. Uh, <laughs> racist, Lord. Now they all sound alike to you. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm being a good girl. Yeah, she, yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm proud of you. And I'm proud of me. It's very difficult for me to be a good girl because I'm so wacky and unusual. What do you think, Lauren? And my nipples are hard. It's cold out here. <laughs> oh, God. Dirk is... Oh, no. What? Dirk. What is... Oh, fuck, no. He's slamming. Dirk, wake what? up. <laughs> oh. He has a rubber tourniquet <laughs> around his... when Dirk dies? <laughs> do, do you remember hearing about like Winnie's nah, boyfriend uh, dying or some shit, <laughs> or, I, or Jamie never heard Amy's ex like, character. I'm in a needle stuck in it. I gotta go. I got oh, fuck. Right. Wake <laughs> up, ah! Dirk. Come on, motherfucker. Lord was trying to give her instructions to call nine one one, but but she knows. She knows. Everyone knows. Yeah, another twist. <laughs> his, life, another twist. His, his life. <laughs> his life. His life. Oh yeah, well, uh, he was. I was on the phone with my ex girlfriend. Well, she's with the husband now, and J and, and Jamie's uh, ex Dirk. Well, the, he was staying with them, and he's walking around naked. And his dick's almost as big as Will's. Anyway, long story short, he died. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine him telling his mother or anybody else all of the stuff that's going on with his girlfriend on the phone. Like that's... I mean, we, when you have so many fake characters in your catfish, you can just kill them off willy dilly. That's when you know you have a you you have a vast cast of characters. <laughs> Dirk, but it was but this was um this was a potential this was a competition potentially for Lauren. So Lauren Lauren's not mad. Lauren is not mad. This dude with the big dick that's walking around butt ass naked. He's not mad that dude is dead. Yeah, because he didn't want him to be at the house when uh, Jamie come back to the house. Let me let me ask you this: Is he naked, dead? Because if so, put a put a blanket on him. I don't want you looking at his dick. Put, put a blanket on him, Winnie. Why you Stop why are you why are you looking Stop at the it. dead man's dick, Winnie? Winnie, they're gonna fingerprint that dick. I'll clean it with my mouth. So oh, goddamn it, Winnie! Oh, That's oh, about Jesus, to Jesus said, "Oh." I really need Jamie to get out the hospital. This is too much. <laughs> Lord, Lord and Winnie at a crime scene. <laughs> Lord, I would love to see Lauren and Winnie in a in a, like an Ocean's Eleven style heist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need you to animate uh, animate that. And you have what day is today? Monday, guys. One's in the chat. If you would like to see Sloth Cat animate Lauren and Winnie in an Ocean's Eleven style heist and have it done by Friday. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of ones. Wow. It's like a picket fence. Um, so this is Lost Cat. That was uh that was it for tonight. What'd you what'd you think of the show? Um, I think the show was great. Mm -hmm. Uh it was entertaining. Um it had its spots in which you know it needed some improvement, but um like Lauren's had, place. Like Lauren's house and um mm -hmm. Carl Weathering showing up, yeah, doing all this, you know, black bear stuff it's it's you know he is, he is who he is he is who he is but you know no i did get a request i did get a request from uh before we before we go before you oh and you had something you said you you messaged me you wanted to say to aaron w what was it oh 
you know, Aaron W. <laughs> That's a nice person right there. The following announcement has been paid for by the Lorne World Order. That's all we're gonna play of that uh, tonight. But um, yeah, sloth cat. When uh, are you? You're gonna be back for my Negroes next week. What do you have? What do you have new coming out? Um, I have um something um maybe Saturday. You, you know? have you you haven't promoted your Patreon at all. You guys, you guys should uh. It's in the description. You guys should really so you should subscribe, sub, subscribe, subscribe to Sloth Cat's Patreon. He he gives you value, and maybe he'll maybe he'll go to school and learn how to animate. So we won't just be cringe watching him, waiting for him to turn into Jordan, so that we can make fun of his emanations. <laughs> exactly. You know, don't help help me be a better me. You know. Don't let me become Jordan. <laughs> Don't let me be who I am currently, y'all. Don't let me be who I am right now. <laughs> let me be somebody better. <laughs> and, and most definitely don't let me be Jordan. Okay, please. Yeah, guys. So if we want to be able to make fun of his emanations uh, and, 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 and really, really laugh at him when he's gone, we need more content. So join his Patreon. But uh, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I'll be back later this week, probably with TLI or the Lauren Identity. Or um or nuggies. I don't really know what's going on this week. But yeah, I will I'll be back. Uh, oh, and I got that interview tomorrow night with uh with with Wavy Matt, the stop jerking off dude. So I'll have a new video coming out with that dude soon. Sloth, why don't you go ahead and sign off? Tell everyone good night. Take y'all ass to sleep. Nice. Oh, is anyone streaming right now? I'll 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 put the link in the description. Or is anyone about to start streaming? You guys let me know. Oh uh, yeah! Shout out to Octopussy and uh, and Silent Rick as always. Um, that is not the T Cap <laughs> with T Cap Gaming scene, the Oily Butt song. Yeah, the interview with Wavy Matt is for real tomorrow. Tomorrow night, I'm interviewing him. Uh, Wait a minute! You actually interviewing a jerk at all? Stop jerking off, guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm interviewing him tomorrow. Oh, okay. Here, let's listen to this though. I bet you he hasn't had like a, a like a romantic relationship in at least I'm telling you at least four years. Yeah, man, I'll offer you love. Hell yeah, I will agree to love you, but we're gonna have to have a moderator because if it's just you and me, I'm gonna fuck you. You know what I mean? Like if if you want love, I'll give you love, man. I'll be nice to you. When was the last time you 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 laid beside me? If you don't want to answer that, answer that to me. When was the last time you laid beside a, a guy like me? Let me, let me love you. If I give you a wrench, is that flirting to you? Because I'm a huge flirt. Wes, come see me, man. Come see me, please, man. Please, come see me, man. <laughs> That's a sexy way to end the show. That is a very sexy way to end the show. And guys, I could not, I could not, I could not go away tonight without reminding you that if you have bad credit, if you were recently married, repossession, went to prison with Lauren for whatever you did and you need to furnish your place. Guys, please, please go to Johnny's Furniture. Are you on welfare or social security? Are you newlyweds? No problem. Come see us. I say, I say, I say, this is Frankie and Johnny's, a place that lets you have it with no problem. I like to buy a bedroom set. Do you have any credit? No, I receive social security and welfare. You have to see the special man. Let her with no problem. I like to buy a living room set. Do you have any credit? No, I filed bankruptcy. You have to see the special man. Let her with no problem. I said, no I say, see Frankie and Johnny, he's a credit man in town. For only $50 down, he can put you in a living room set, a bedroom set. Today, see the special man. I got the $50. Let her with no problem. I got it, I got it with no problem. No, no, the, the interview was real. The interview, the interview was one hundred percent real. Tomorrow night, now I'm, I'm making a video out of it. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna interview him. I got questions. I got questions for that dude. Um, <laughs> never been part of a hate group. Oddly, like burned out them houses. He did not burn the house. You need to watch that video. Again. <laughs>
You definitely need to stop masturbating and watch that video. Just, just, just give it a rest. Give it a two minute rest to watch the 90 second video. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, I got to pull up. I got to pull this up. Uh, thank you. And sleep well. Fuck all of you, you motherfuckers. Good day, you fucking assholes. Goodbye, goodbye, everybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is Tanol and George Glass. Uh, who, who else? Car- Carl Weathering, Kim Shitty Bully, uh, Chris, uh, Crispy Treat. Uh, who the other bully? Goro, Punk Nuggies, Pansy, Punk Pansy. All the all the bullies, all those bullies out there. This is for you, all my haters. This is for you. Hey, I just want to say, Amanda James, goodbye. Lockhart. Goodbye. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me Goodbye, goodbye to everybody Now I need some changes in my life Now I need to move on in life Now it's time to say goodbye Goodbye, goodbye to everybody Goodbye to the people who hated on me Goodbye to the people who loved me Goodbye to the people who trusted me Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. I'm thinking deeply right now. My life with you is like how I don't know how to explain this. I don't know why it's happening to me, but just. Realize I'm not the person <laughs> I used to be. Now I just wanna leave this city. This bullshit is not gonna happen again. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. The difference. Let's see just walk around the mall. Life is short. Life is short. Don't waste time worrying about me. All of the ones that care for you. In the end, they will be there for you. One day, I'll make it up the world. Our memories will be swirled. And them all don't wear. And this is the sign of goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to goodbye everybody. To the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Uh, white, black. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, 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 goodbye to everybody. Goodbye to the people who hated on me. Goodbye to the people who loved me. Goodbye to the people who trusted me. Goodbye, goodbye to everybody.